Hello, the purpose of this video is to show NDSA members how to claim their listing on the NDSA Buyer's Guide. So the first thing that you want to do is to find your company listing, which you should already be listed uh, because the information is carried over from the print uh, NDSA Buyer's Guide. So to find your listing, you have two options. You can either use the searchable text box or you can scroll down to the browse by category, click all suppliers. If you go this direction, uh, you can search for a member using uh, the categories option, or you can sort by relevancy, distance, alphabetical order, or popular. So uh, you can either find your company this way, or for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the company Nelson Jameson. So I'm going to actually search in the text box. So I do that. It auto populates. I find that. This brings you to your company's page. Uh, and to claim your listing, it's very intuitive. You press claim it here. So this will bring you to this screen, which is your account setup. You'll see this option over here. You're going to want to toggle over to register and enter your contact information. So I'm going to enter my contact information just as an example. And I'll click register. So from there, it will bring you to the second screen, which shows our different sponsorship options. Now you're going to have a plan that's already selected, again, carried over from the print buyer's guide, but this screen will allow you to upgrade your listing if you so choose. Now the main differences between each of the sponsorship levels is in the amount of articles that you can upload throughout the year, as well as the amount of content that you can load onto your company listing. So for example, Nelson Jameson already has a gold selected that entitles them to publish monthly articles on the buyer's guide for an entire year. And then those articles are promoted in the Tuesday newsletter that Bruce Kupke sends out every week. So the other hand, a basic listing that doesn't entitle you to any of the articles. It just shows that you're an active member. So once you've made your decision as to if you're going to stay consistent with what was in the print guide, or if you're going to upgrade, you select choose plan, or you simply scroll to the bottom and click next. Once you've clicked next, it's going to bring you to your listing update section. This is the section where you want to make sure that all of your information is up to date. Again, this, this information is carried through from the print buyer's guide. This will be your opportunity to go through and either update the information or fill in some of the information that uh, you know, might have changed or just make sure it's as complete as possible. And you do want this to be as complete as you can possibly make it because if you have a company that's finding you on the buyer's guide, you want them to have all of that information right there in one place. So this will give you that opportunity. So I'll just scroll down and show what some of the fields that you can see are. You make sure that this is all up to date and then you want to make sure that your categories are selected now with a gold sponsorship again that that nelson jameson already has they're entitled to five categories uh and then up beyond that if they want to go to a sixth or a seventh it's fifty dollars a piece after that five so i'm just going to click five here just to show an example and again that's five they are also entitled to go ab above that for $50 if they so choose. So I'll press select. I will go down and I'll press next. And that's going to bring you to the payment screen. Now you have two options here. I'm going to select for purposes of this video, print invoice and mail a check. But, and this is important. If you, if you elect uh, to upgrade your listings and category or categories, I apologize and you opt to pay by a credit card, you must deselect the all category to avoid paying an additional $50 charge. Again, that's only if you're paying by credit card. But for our purposes, I'm gonna select print invoice and mail a check. Press next. And of course I agree to the terms and I will send the payment and I'll complete the process. Now on this page, this is, this is where you live. This is vital. This is the dashboard. So it shows you how complete your listing is. So right now, Nelson Jameson's at 73%, which is great. You want to be ideally closer to 100. This also is where you can edit your listing. You can add new content. And that's with this drop down banner, you can add a listing, a banner, an event, a classified, or an article. And this is where you can also find the stats for your listing. So for, for September, it shows that Nelson Jameson had 
you know, that this many viewers, activity report, 23 total viewers, two website views, et cetera, et cetera. So all of that information can be found on your dashboard. And one last thing I want to show you is how to sign up for monthly reporting statistics, which is to be able to take this information and have it sent to you every month. So to do that, you're going to go up to account, click there. You're going to scroll down here where it says settings, and then you check your preferences notify me about listing reviews and listing traffic and now you'll be sent that information every month so i've, I've updated that nelson jameson uh for the purposes of this video is now up to date and i hope this this video has been helpful for you and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out and we would be happy to help thank you so much